My name is Emma Nilsson and I'm a part of the Swedish national biathlon team. Uh, this is my third year in the World Cup and uh, yesterday I did a test race uh, with a GoPro and I'd like to show you our nice and windy Östersund track. Okay, here we are at the starting line. We're all pretty nervous for this. And we're fixing the last things, preparation before we start. Talking a little bit, the competitors, and then we do the start. It's not much space, you have to stay behind the one in front of you. Try to find a gap and to get some positions. It's a pretty flat part, pretty wide. You can uh, try to get someone on the outside or the inside. It's pretty important to get a nice position before the long, steep uphill. We're gonna come to pretty soon. And here we have the first part of this uphill. It's maybe not the steepest part of the uphill, but it's pretty big, pretty steep. And then we get this part in the middle. It's a little bit flat before it starts to go up again. It's a pretty tough uphill. And uh, you really have to push to really get to the top to get the speed over and in the next downhill. The last part of the uphill is really steep. So here you really need to push, push, push to get as much speed as you can. And then it's a little bit flat part before it really goes down with a right turn. It's a pretty fast one, it can be a little bit icy, so it's important to really move your leg, move your feet to get a nice speed up in this little bit flatter part for the next uphill. This part of the track is not so steep, but still you need, really need to push, push, push all the way to the top, because here you can get a lot of seconds. If you just a nice push. It's important to really get the speed on the flat part here before the next downhill, which is pretty tricky. It's a left turn. That's um, it can always, it's usually pretty icy here. It is important to not fall. And then we have a pretty long, not really flat, but not really uphill part. Where you can get a lot of seconds if you are strong and you really push the one one here. And then it's usually really important to get the speed into the next downhill. If you have really good skis, this next turn can be almost a little bit tricky <laughs> to do. Then it's it's not that it's not so hard as with this skis, but it could be really tricky. And then it's the kind of the last long uphill before the shooting range. It's not that steep, but still you really need to press uh, a lot to get to the top. Uh, where it's a 90 degree turn. It's important to have fast feet. You don't lose too much time here. And then it's a downhill before the last uphill. Short uphill before the shooting. And this is the last downhill before the shooting. Downhill which Fredrik Lindström fell in for a couple of years ago and lost the, I think, first position. And here's a flat part before the shooting, but important is to not relax and start to go slow. You really need to have the speed all the way into the shooting, otherwise you lose a lot of seconds in this part. And then we have Östersund shooting range. 
which is famous for its wind. And um, this race, it was pretty windy, as always. Um, not all the time, but it come a lot of wind, and then it's less, and then it's a lot of wind. Typical Sweden station. Don't always look like it's much wind, but it's more than it looks like. It's important to always have focus. Check if the wind is changing. Then it's up for a new loop. And the finish is pretty nice in Sweden. You have this nice downhill first, then it's just to keep on the speed until the finish line. Then you're done.